In this video, we're going to make a leather axe ring for medieval reenactment. That's coming up. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel, you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you, and you might want to consider subscribing. Alrighty, so today I'm going to make a couple of um, axe rings. Axes were carried pretty much by anyone who could um, afford them, and pretty much because axes were so inexpensive, that was pretty much everyone. Axes would have been made from bog iron, at least for the majority of people. On projects like this, I'm gonna use a, a brand new blade for each one of my, my leather projects. Um, these blades really don't cost that much money. This is a great knife, by the way, I highly recommend it. Alrighty, there we go. Now we're just going to clean up some edges. So we now have the base of our axe ring. We've got the tab, which is going to hold that ring in place. You're also going to need a blunt needle with an I use waxed linen thread. To simplify the process, I use a four in one punch with just a, a leather making hammer. Rightio, I just eyeball where that's now going to sit. Once you're happy with the position of your holes, then just just running over the sides with an edge beveler just to um, give you a nice uh, feel to your work and a nice finish. You don't need to go nuts with this. This is a purely functional item. Um, certainly for me it is. At this point, I'm gonna go over everything with a nice dark brown leather dye. I use the one from Mac Lace Leather. I find it works really well for me. Don't forget the sides. I don't bother with doing the back on this one. And then I'm just gonna allow that to dry for a few minutes. The stitching process is pretty simple. I just make a very simple stopper knot and then when I sew through I do a simple running stitch and go one direction and then follow the same in reverse. When it comes to finishing off your leather work when you're doing stitching all I do just pass the needle underneath one of the stitches um, without it so it should be a blunt needle, so you shouldn't damage the stitching or the leather. And then just tie in a very simple knot. Uh, you then just trim off the excess thread and use a lighter. And there you go, it's nice and done. Don't forget to put your, your ring in at this point. 
I just follow through with an exact same process on the other side. I also cover up all of my work with a, you know, a clear leather sealer, which is essentially a varnish also by MAC Lace Leather. Really do encourage you to use that product. Or something similar. Right, I now just um, get rid of any excess thread. I just realized I need to cut in some little tags to insert my belt through. Let's do that. Should really have done this a little earlier. Never mind, it can be done from here. Just be very careful. And then just... All you're looking for is just enough room to get your belt through. I use quite a narrow belt by, I guess, the standards of a lot of LARPers and cosplayers and uh, re uh, even medieval reenactors actually. Uh, I like to keep my stuff as historically accurate as feasible. I realise I don't always get it right and I do appreciate the feedback and the comments that come through. Just keep it courteous. But um, my belt is about 25 or something like that millimetres wide and I reenact the sort of 10th and 11th centuries primarily. So um, I need to keep my belt fairly narrow. They did get wider as the medieval period progressed, sometimes up to like 35 or something millimetres, but that's much further into like the 14th century or something. Um, but just check your sources on that one. Alrighty guys, so you just simply need a very narrow little gap there and there you go. All right, let's um, see how this goes. And there we go. Righto guys, really simple little project there, only takes 20 minutes or something. Um, you can buy scrap leather from all kinds of different leather artisans and craft shops. The buckle or, or the, the steel, the, the brass ring I purchased actually from a boating store or a camping store I think. Uh, they're not very expensive. Really do highly recommend this though. I, I, I much prefer to have a, a proper belt suspension system. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.